Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Deviant Square. This episode is titled Mediators, Moderators, and Suppressors Made Easy. Now, I know what you're thinking. Great, a stats video. Boring. And fair enough, but I'm going to do my best to try to keep it interesting. Let's start with the mediator. Say we have an independent variable that seems to be related to our dependent variable, but not necessarily directly. Instead, the independent variable is related indirectly to the dependent variable through a mediator. Here's an example. Let's pretend that someone gave you an awesome Les Paul guitar. Then, shortly after receiving the guitar, someone came along and gave you an extremely lucrative record deal. Show me the money. Now, does it seem likely that just receiving a Les Paul guitar would directly lead to you somehow getting a lucrative record deal? Hmm, probably not. So, there must be some other factor or variable that explains why it led to a record deal. What are we talking about? Practice? Perhaps receiving a super awesome Les Paul guitar makes you really motivated to practice a lot. And practicing a lot eventually got you that super lucrative record contract. So, your response to receiving the guitar, practicing tons and tons, explained the relationship between receiving the guitar and getting the super lucrative record contract. It was a mediator. Now, let's take a look at a moderator. Once again, we have our independent variable and our dependent variable related and still a third variable acting on that relationship. But this time, instead of explaining, it is changing. That is, it is determining the nature that these two things are related. Example time. Once again, you receive the super fantastic, awesome, stupendous guitar and the high dollar record deal. Show me the money. However, new twist time. Let's say that not everyone had that direct link between getting a guitar and signing the deal. Maybe some people did, some people didn't. So what was it that determined whether getting a guitar for someone was going to lead to the record deal? For the purposes of our example, we're going to say it's high musical aptitude, or having the right genetics, having good genes, if you will. Not those genes. There you go, those genes. The right DNA. This was going to determine whether or not getting the guitar was going to result in you signing that mega contract. Before we move on, I want to make one final note about moderators. Notice the difference here from mediators. If this were a mediator, that would be to say receiving the awesome guitar was going to result in you having the right genes or the right DNA, which would then result in signing the record deal. However, clearly you had that DNA or didn't long before you received that guitar. In fact, you could say that having those musical genes are what determine whether or not getting the guitar translated into getting that record deal. So not to belabor this point, but it's important, so I'm gonna. Moderator, good genes changes the course of what happens as a result of getting the guitar. Mediator, practice, is what happens as a result of getting the guitar and shows why getting the guitar leads to something else, like the record deal. Okay, next, sneaky little suppressors. So, while mediators explain and moderators change, suppressors can be said to reveal now, you also might hear this described as strengthening a relationship, but this is really only mathematically true, not conceptually. 